guys, what's up? It's your girl Shelly here and welcome back to my channel. So we're here with another makeup tutorial. Um, on my last video you guys showed me so much love and I'm so sorry that I didn't get to respond to all the comments as yet. One of my lovely subscribers, her name is Bossy Girl B. Thank you so much for um, requesting this video. So she requested for me to do um, some more looks with the Morphe 39A palette. And the Morphe 39A palette has these really pretty greens right here that I've, um, I've been meaning to use and play with and see how they work. I also wanted to try out the black in this eyeshadow palette as well because I don't think I've ever tried it before. But um, that's what we're going to be doing today. So if you guys are interested in this beat right here, I wanted to use a palette but I also wanted to go fully glam. And then I was also inspired by this turban that I have on my head. It's actually some material that I bought for a background and I just tied it on my head because my hair is a hot mess right now. But um, if you guys want to see how I created this look, please continue to watch. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, just an FYI, my husband has a ton of friends over. So it might get a little bit loud during the video, but I'm sorry. I didn't want to do a voiceover because I just feel more personal doing um, talk through videos now. So hope you guys don't mind, but yeah. Let's get started. So these greens down here, ever since I bought the palette, I've been meaning to do a look with these greens. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do today. I'm probably not going to be talking too much during the video because my husband has um, some visitors over and they're a little bit noisy so I don't want that to interfere with my video so I'm probably going to do a talk over but if you guys want to see what I soup up let's start cutting vegetables <laughs> okay I already did my brows off camera and for those of you guys that's been asking about my edges and what I use for my edges I'm going to link the video down below so you guys can see um, what I use but yeah I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids real quick and what I'm going to use for that is my Con Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C13. A little bit more because my lids crease really bad. So I'm going to put a little bit more. To set that, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is in the shade Medium Deep. So let's get started. I'm going to first start with a transition color. So I'm going to take this color right here. This is the last um, contour shade and it's like a light to medium brown. And I'm going to take that on this Morphe E23 brush and I'm just going to place that right above my crease. I'm going to take it all the way out and then all the way in. It's just going to be like a peeping transition color. You're not going to see this color too much. And you can definitely build this color as pigmented as you want or as light as you want if you're going for a soft look. But I'm going for a really pigmented, full coverage face. So that's why I'm packing it on. I'm going to take the small fluffy brush from Morphe. This is the M443. I'm going to go into this shade right here. This is the darker of the two greens, so this shade right here. I first take this on the outer corner, and I'm going to pack it right here on the outer corner. I'm also going to take it on the inner corner. Then you just want to go back over the edges with the same brush that you use with that brown shade and just blend out those harsh lines. You guys, you hear my background? I can't. But um, I'm going to take this really tiny brush. This is a Morphe M321 brush. And I'm going to take the black in the palette. And I'm going to just use that to deepen up the corner. I'm taking it on this really tiny brush because I don't want the black to go too far. But I do want the corners to be a little bit darker. I'm also going to take it on the inner corner to make that a little bit darker. Then I'm just going to go back into this brush with the green and kind of smudge out the edges of the black and blend the green together. Because I don't want to lose the green. That's the main reason of this look. Then I cut the crease and I'm going to use the same concealer from Makeup Revolution. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to use this little shader brush or whatever this is. 
and I'm just gonna use it to cut my crease. And I'm gonna go in with my Stila Magnificent Glitter. This is in Smoky Storm. It's a really pretty gold color, and I'm just gonna pop that into the center of my eyes. It's not much left in here, so bear with me. I'm gonna go back in with this brush. This is the one that I use with the black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to blend the edges of this. I'm just going to add a dramatic wing because I want to be extra with this makeup look. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. liquid liner. I don't know about these curved wing, but that's how it came out. So I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I'm going to add some mascara. This is my L'Oreal mascara. Everything is making so much noise today. I should have just did a voiceover. Alright, I'm going to come back to the eyes a little bit. Let's, um, let's do the face real quick. I'm going to moisturize with my Dr. Jart's water drop. For primer, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier foundation primer. For foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay. Yes, baby. In the shade 356. I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This is in um, the shade Caramel. Real Technique Sponge to blend it out. I'm going to go ahead and set my highlighted areas with my Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder with my damp Real Technique sponge. Bake a little bit today, guys, because I feel like it. I don't know why, I just feel like baking. So I bake for about two to three minutes while I powder contour. So this, this, you, you guys hear this? Please disregard my background. I cannot. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in medium to tan, and I'm going to take the darkest shade. By the way, this is my Morphe M523 brush. And like I said, I want this look to be extra dramatic. So I'm going to take the darkest shade to contour my nails today. Normally, I'll take the light, the next, um, the second to last darkest shade. But I'm going to use the darkest shade today. Then I'm going to dust off this powder. So I want my contour to be extra sharp on the side because this look is dramatic. So I'm just going to take my Ben Nye Banana Powder on this like angled sponge. I got these from the dollar store. And I like to use these to, do, to give me a sharp contour because of the edges. Y'all see that? And I'm not going to let this sit. I'm just going to dust it off. I found this L'Oreal pencil in the drugstore. So I'm going to try to use it today. It's actually a white pencil. And I'm going to try to use it to open up my eyes some. Since my look is so dramatic. I don't want my eyes to look too close. So I'm going to try to use this to open it up. I'm just going to place that right in my waterline. I didn't set my overall face. So let me do that real quick. And I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in the shade Dark Deepest. I'm so distracted by my background. I cannot. I can't. I'm going to go back into the palette with this same green that I used on my eyes. And I'm just going to take that and smudge it right underneath my lower lash line. I'm going to take it all the way on the outer corner. Don't forget your lower lash line mascara. So I kind of want a burst of yellow in this look. And I'm going to put that right in my inner tear duct. And what I'm going to use for that is Trophy Wife from Fenty. I'm going to take that on this brush. This is a E18 brush from Morphe. And I'm just going to pop this right in 
the inner corner for blush I'm gonna take this blush from Mac this is in the shade film Noir, and it's a really deep deep brownish reddish color so I'm gonna take this on my cheeks but I'm gonna go super light hand because I don't want it too dark and what is a dramatic look without a dramatic lash the difference a lash can make in your makeup look I cannot Woosa, I finally fixed my lashes and I fixed my eyes, I think. It might look a little bit messy underneath here because the glue got way into my eyes. So I had to fix that real quick. So you guys, just be very careful when you're applying your lash glue because it could go completely wrong. I put my highlights, I want my face to be wet and dewy. So I'm going to go ahead and set with the MAC Fix Plus. I just want to cover my eyes because I don't want it to mess up my eyeshadow. And I want a beaming highlighter today. When I say beaming, I mean beaming. So I'm going to use my two highlighters from Artist Couture. These are both um, from the Jackie Ina collab. This is Le Bronze and this is Le Peach. I'm going to use Le Bronze first. Le Bronze is more of a deep bronzy color highlighter. So... And while my face is slightly still damped, I'm going to put the peach on top. And what I like to do is just use whatever I have in the cap because she could be blinding. I'm going to spray a little bit on the brush. <gasps> Y'all see that? Wow. My highlight is looking a little bit coppery, so I'm going to use another highlighter on top of it. I know this is a lot of highlighter, you guys, but my choice don't have to be yours. This is the Laura Geller Highlighter in Gilded Honey. It's a lot more gold, so she's a lot, right? Remember what I said before? If you want your highlighter to tone down, you could just go on top of it and tone it down a bit. Not that I want mine to be toned down much, but it's alright. I'm going to spray it again with some MAC Fix Plus. So for my lips, I'm going to go in with my lip liner from Kylie Cosmetics. And this is, in, this is True Brown K. Then I'm going to go into my Anastasia lip kit. I got this um, from TJ Maxx. If you guys didn't see my TJ Maxx haul, I'm going to easily link it for you guys down below so you can check it out. But I think I want to take the middle color. And this is in the shade Bittersweet. I'm um, just going to take this all over the lips. This look is giving me my entire life. Like, yo. 